Franco has been living in the Jakobstad region for four years. He is originally from Portugal, but he loves living in the dynamic Jakobstad region. Franco is the CEO of a company in the plastics industry in which the company is market leading. Their annual revenue is 230 million euros and quality has always been a focal point for the company. They know they need to work with sustainability. This is something that both their business partners, customers and stakeholders are demanding more frequently. They know that sustainability needs to be a strategic core value in their business. But they are struggling with getting started. Dear Mr. Steinbeck, we know we need to start communicating our sustainability actions and show the measures we are taking, but we have not yet started to work systematically with sustainability as our prime focus. How do we get started? Hi Franco and welcome to the Nordics. I'm glad that you enjoy it because it's truly one of the best places in the world to be. But Southern Europe's not that bad either. Well, we're not really here to talk geography, are we? We're here to talk about sustainability and business. And where you're at, I would give you a couple of recommendations that I think could be good for your progress of building a more sustainable company. And the first one is to really find out what is material in your organization and what isn't. So basically, find out what's important. Because the problem is, unless you make a really good and solid foundation first, you're going to do the things that are easy, not the things that are important. And by bringing somebody on board, preferably a third party or at least somebody who has a very sound understanding of sustainability, to look through your company, your processes, your purchases, everything that you do, and to come to a conclusion of what are the things that you do in, or in your organization that is frequent in happening and has a large impact on sustainability. And then when you weigh those two things together, you can come to a conclusion of what's truly important. Because unless you make that sort of a decision of looking into both what's important and what you do often, you're going to end up doing the things that are easy, not the things that are important. And easy things aren't going to save the planet. And they're for sure not going to build your sustainable brand either. So if you want to build a sustainable brand, you're going to have to do what's material first. Secondly, it's important that you communicate your vision internally. And this needs to come from you, from your company, from some place genuine. So not something that a board of directors has said that, well, this is supposed to be important, so let's just do it. No, why is this company that you're running working with sustainability? Why it's important for you? Why is it important for the people that work for you? Why is it important for this company that's been around for the last 90 years to continue being around for another 90 years? And by finding this hook, this very specific story that is unique to you and your company, it's going to be incredibly hard for somebody else to copy it. And it's also going to be a very good story that you can tell over and over again to make people enthusiastic about your brand. And it could be people that want to invest in it. It could be people that want to sell you things. It could be people that wants to buy things from you. It could be people that wants to serve on your board of directors. It could be employees. Anybody with a pair of ears are going to find your story interesting and your company more valuable than it was before. And thirdly, I would like to leave you with one solid recommendation, and that is to not get stuck within the administration. So don't just see sustainability as papers that needs to be filled out, T's that needs to be crossed and I's that needs to be dotted. It needs to be something that's a lot more genuine than that. And in order to do that, you need to get your employees on board. Everybody needs to subscribe to your vision of how to make this world and this company that they're working for more sustainable. And in doing so, you're not just going to build something that 
is around for a couple of years or for whatever amount of time you feel that it's important, you're going to build a soul within your company, a sustainable soul that people find really intriguing and that and makes them enthusiastic about getting up and getting to work every day. They're going to feel a collective responsibility for making sure that your company reaches the sustainability goals that you have set out within your materiality analysis that you started out with. And if you can combine these things into one successful unit, you'll have a really good platform where you do what's important, not only what's easy. You're going to be capable of communicating it to anybody around you and make people enthusiastic about your brand and your company. And thirdly, you're going to have people working for you that every day wants to go up and help you save the world. Personally, I think that's a pretty good spot to be in. I hope you agree.